Welcome back to GMNC. With me in studio, we've got our amazing Tony Supermani. Tony, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you doing, Dad? Good. It's always awesome sharing the couch with you. Thank you so much. Tony, so tell us a bit of our topic of inspiration this morning. Yeah, the, the topic that I want to share with the viewers this morning is the, the fact that one of the biggest obstacles we have in our lives is ourselves. True. Very you know? true. Yeah. So this morning, I want to ask the viewers to get out of their own way. Okay. You know? Uh, get out of your own way simply means getting standing aside and watching your success roll over, you know. Very often we stand in the way and we expect things to happen for us and to us, but it is not possible because yeah. we are the obstacle that's standing there. And I just want to unpack this topic with the viewers so that we can get to understand how simple it can be just to get out of the way. And I think sometimes the fear of want, not wanting to get out of the way is more powerful than actually getting out of our way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We, we kind of wonder what's going to happen if we don't have hold on certain things in our lives and certain experiences and certain uh, people in our lives. And, you know, we think we're going to crush. But yeah. it's not, not, not so. One of the ways is actually getting to do it. Whatever you plan to do, go ahead and do it. You know? Um, very often we say that with the first steps are the most difficult steps. But if they're not taken, then the notion of progress is only a notion and not an accomplishment. I hear you. You see? Yes. So we're not putting action into that as well too. The other thing we have to embrace is our strengths. And that's so common a problem that we tend to have. It's a challenge we have. We don't look at our strengths. We can identify strengths in other people, yeah. but we very seldom identify our own strengths. Yeah. And I want to encourage the viewers that from now on, identify and, and, and expand on your own strengths rather than looking at our weaknesses and rolling in that day in and day out. Yeah. The other thing is try to minimize self-talk, the negative self-talk especially. Because that if we don't take control of, Taryn, it just gets wilder and wilder and louder and louder. And you kind of get caught in this deep rut, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and eventually you don't know where to turn, where to go because you're just stuck in this rut with all the negative talk that you've allowed yourself to be yeah. part of, you see. The, the other thing that is very, very important is to get to know your, your inner world. Now, some time ago, I talked of the, we live in two worlds at the same time. We live in the outer world and we live in the inner world. The outer world is all that we have around us, the weather, the economy, the people we interact and our experiences. Our inner world is the happiness, the joy, the bliss, and all of that that we are naturally born with. Yeah. And I want to encourage the viewers that from now on, connect with that inner world and strengthen that so that we look at the happiness and joy and bliss and all of that that is naturally abundantly available within us. And when we start to connect, that divine light within us gets brighter and brighter. And how, how wonderful it is to share that with people rather than having to attract all the negativity that's all around us as well too. Yeah. The, the other thing that kills our goals and our aspirations is this overthinking. Oh my goodness, it just goes on and on and on. And you know, we're all yeah, guilty. Yeah. But I want to suggest that we can actually get to terms with that day by just starting off, doing things in a small way and, and, and celebrating the success of little things. You know, it's eat the elephant. And how do you do it? It's just bite-sized chunks every day. And celebrate those successes we, we have by actually seeing the little things that are unfolding and unpacking in our lives as well. Yeah. One of the other things that we can look at as well is to embrace and enjoy self-care. You know, when you start taking care of yourself and you're looking good, you start feeling good. When you start feeling good and looking good, people are saying, wow, look at you now. And you want to just continue feeling that way. I mean, I often tell them, someone says, you're looking absolutely divine and beautiful. And, you know, you feel so good about that. And yeah, you say, well. It's a confident boost, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's natural. It's free of charge. Why not grab it? <laughs> there we go. You know? yeah. So a lot of us have actually gone through, maybe we've set up these New Year resolutions and never got to terms of doing it. So the other thing is don't be hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself. And how often do we forget to do that? No, we don't do you that. Know? We don't no, do that. We, we actually have a misconstrued and a misinterpretation of what the word forgiveness is. And we live by that misinterpretation that forgiveness means we can't forgive ourselves. We've wronged, we've messed up. Every one of us has actually messed up. But we need to forgive ourselves. Self-forgiveness is crucial in order to ensure that we can get out, of, get out of our way. So when we get out of our way, that's the way we're going to see success, joy, and the absolute happiness in our lives. That's my message for the, the viewers. Thank you, Tony. I mean, the most difficult thing is to get out of your own head, isn't it? Yeah. And to take control, because you're scared of that rejection. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what we worried about is what's going to happen if we reject yeah. it and you know what would happen will the world fall apart it hasn't fallen apart yet and it's not going to happen soon oh, Tony what a lovely message for this thank inspiration you. this morning thank you once again your wise words always always I mean carry me through for the week thank so I can you. just imagine what it does to the viewers as sure. well thank you Tony thank you. Thank you. we're gonna go into an ad break and then after the ad break we've got Mark Mason from Sugar Rights Club <laughs> 